So you want to introduce yourself? What's your name? Alan. That's Alan. I'm Mike. I'm Mike. Joe. Yeah. I'm Dick. Okay, Betty. Here we go. Pulling the breath in through the nose. Hold it over and blow it out. Number two. Three. You looking for me, Cal? Four. And number five. We'll sit up tall and we'll move into our neck. And the first neck exercise will be pulling the chin to the chest, lifting the chin and poking forward. Down and in. Up and out. Number three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Really good up. Eight. Nine. And ten. We're going to look right and left. But before we do that one, I like to set my shoulders in place by scooching forward in my chair, reaching behind myself, pulling my shoulder blades back, sitting up tall, looking over the right shoulder, and hold. One, two, three, four, five. We'll counter stretch to the left, turning, and looking, and hold. One, two, three, four, five, and switch. 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 One, two, three, four, five. Break your grip. And let's see if we can get our feeling back in our shoulders. How about in our fingers and our arms and our hands? Once you think you got blood flow back, that's good. And we'll reach behind and do that same pose where we sit up tall, pull the shoulder blades together. But this time we do what, Jim? We um, take our left ear to our right shoulder. Oh, now you're, you, uh, that's an advanced move, Jim. Let's, let's go right ear to right shoulder. <laughs> I go down. There. Yeah, and hold. You like to lock the door <laughs> open. Good and good, I, I love you, man. And hold. One, two, three, four, five. Left ear to left shoulder. One, two, three, four, five. And switch. One, two, three, four, five. And switch. One, two, three, four, five. And switch. One, two, three, four, five. And the last one on the left and hold. One, two, three, four, and five. Can I get you through the weekend, Jim? Yeah. I'll carry you through the weekend. Right. Okay. I had to let you know. Um, elevated doors is next, and Frida isn't quite here. So, uh, Betty, would you lead us on the elevator doors? I don't know what the elevator Well, you know what the elevator doors do. They open and close, right? Yeah. Would you be able to do 10 of those? Elevator door-like motion? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Excellent job. Thank you. The next one is where we interlace the fingers. And notice how when you put your hands on your chest, you can bring your elbows down to your ribs and try to pinch yourself with your elbows. Yeah, kind of like that. And simultaneously as you pinch, can you bring your shoulder blades together on your back? So you're pinching with your elbows and squeezing with your shoulder blades, and then you relax. And you push your arms out in front, and can you drive your elbows together? And you tighten up your arms and your chest muscles, and then relax, flip your hands, push high overhead, and see if you can look up at the back of your hand. And hold, 
One, two, three, four, five, down, flip, pull and squeeze, push and squeeze, flip and reach, pushing up but looking down, and hold. One, two, three, four, five, down, flip and squeeze, push and squeeze, flip and reach, pushing up, looking up. One, two, three, four, five, down, flip and squeeze, push and squeeze, flip and reach, pushing up, looking down. One, two, three, four, five, and the last one, flipping, squeezing. Pushing, squeezing, flipping and reach. Push up, look up, hold. One, two, three, four, and five. Down, flip, and relax. So a couple times I asked you to pull your shoulder blades together on your back. Now I want to try and stretch those muscles to pull your shoulder blades together. So find your right hand and put your right hand on the left shoulder. Reach across with your left hand and grab the right elbow. And pull that right elbow to the left side of your body and hold. One, two, three, four, five. Throw that right arm out. Swing it right back up and on. Pull it across your chest and hold. One, two, three, four, five. Out and in. Drag and hold. One, two, three. Four and five. We'll switch it up. Left hand on right shoulder, grabbing the left elbow, pull it across to the right side of your body, and hold. One, two, three, four, five, out, and in. One, two, three, four, five, out, and in. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to do a little twisting now of our torso. So I'll ask you to sit up nice and tall, pull your tummy in, turn your body to the right, twist your body to the right, and lastly, look over your right shoulder and hold. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll counter stretch to the left where we're turning, twisting, and looking over the left shoulder and hold. One, two, three, four, five. And switch. One, two, three, four, five. And switch. One, two, three, four, five. And switch. One, two, three, four, five. And the last one, looking left. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to move into the marching, but the first march has a twist in it. And that twist is the elbow to opposite knee. If you'll find your hands on top of your head and notice which is your right elbow, get it ready. And march up that left knee and turn towards it. Switch sides and repeat all that for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, number nine, ten. We're going to keep this alive. We're going to rock side to side. And me and Alan are going to try not to bump heads. Okay? <laughs> we're, uh, we're just reaching, bringing up that opposite leg and keep it going for one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Right, we got more marching. Michael, yeah. Judy usually leads a biking, but today would you mind taking us? Well, let's see. It's right down around the arc. It's a little windy, but yeah, they got the place looking real good down there. Let's go take a look at the rest. Yeah, well, okay. On start, we'll do a uh, 12 uh, cycle. Okay. Right. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, left foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, right foot, reverse, twelve, eleven, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Left foot reverse. Twelve. Left foot ten. Oh wait, let's go. Nine. Eight. Sometimes I got some days you do. Some mics. You got the mics. Sorry. You can't help them. She's right. got the mics. Or at least I'm sticking to that. Something we, what were we doing? Mike and Mike. Mike and Mike, it's bad news, man. You gotta be careful. Good heart, but can't count to three. Oh, uh, let's see. Deep breath, deep breath, deep breath in. Let it go. Deep breath in. Let it go. One more deep breath. And let's see. Jim, but we got the grand finale. Is that yes. where we're at? Grand finale march. And that's where we try to get the leg up high enough that we can clamp underneath it. Now, if that's an issue, I want you just to march the best you can and keep the rhythm of the slap with the group. On your mark, get set, go. One. Slow things down with a little stretching of the hamstrings. We're going to stick our right leg out as straight as we can make it. And then reach down just as far as you can take it. And hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Deep breath in. Let that breath go and begin your descent on the same right leg and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Inhale. Exhale. And hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right leg back. Left leg out. Reaching. And holding. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale. Exhale. And hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Deep breath in. Let it go. Reach and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going to go to another stretch. Uh, we call it the low back stretch. It's got a little hip and leg and element to it. We're going to grab the right leg, pull it up as high as you can. When it won't come up anymore, we'll roll forward. And as you're rolling forward, once you feel a stretch in your low back, hold that position right there for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Left leg set. Roll and hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going to drop down into the ankle joint and we'll pump the ankle up and down. So draw up your right leg, get that ankle ready to go, and pump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Left leg set. Pump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Drawing up the right leg again. 
circle in that foot or ankle for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Same way. Just reverse your circle. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Same on the left leg. Set. Circle one, two, three, four, five, five six, seven, eight. Keep it up. And ten. Keep flushing. Hit the board. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Three deep breaths. Let go. Deep breath in. Let it go. One more fresh breath. Let it go. We're going to try to tighten any muscle you can find on this next exercise. We'll scoop you back into our chairs. And the muscle that you just were sliding on, your butt muscle, if you can tighten them up, firm up your butt. Once you get your butt good and tight, can you suck in and tighten the gut? Gut and butt are firm. Bring your thighs together. Toes back at you. Flex the thighs. Pull your thighs, butt, your gut. They're all tight. What about arms and chest? Can you tighten those too? And hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And relax. Take a deep breath in. Let that breath go. Start flexing the different muscle groups. And tighten straight arm. Hands down, tighten in the back of the arms and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Deep breath in. Let it go. Start tightening the tail, flexing the thighs, pulling the toes back at you. Overhead punch, tighten the arms, chest, shoulder, hold everything firm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And can you take us through the head, shoulders, and knees, and toes, Alan? Do you remember it? It just goes head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. And if you need help with it, Jim will help you. He always keeps me on track. Yeah. We'll try it. We'll okay. try it. Yeah. Try it. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Keep that up. Head, shoulders, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Three more times. Shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Shoulders, knees, and toes. One more time. Knees and toes. Excellent job. Way to go, Alan and friends. And we'll, <laughs> it's good to have friends, I can assure you. I rely on them all the time. Uh, let's do a couple deep breaths. Deep breath in. See you, Kai. Hey, Mike. Let it go. That's real. Thank you. Thank you. You want a And let it go. One more deep breath. There's one of my friends right there. And then toilet flushing and whatever else he was talking about over there. Man, got it done. We're going to get out of our seats and onto our feet. And uh, we're going to do 10 shallow squats. And uh, the set position for this, can anybody tell me the set position? Head to your chair. Scooch to the front of your chair. What's number two? Wide base. Wide base of support. Number three? Get your nose over your knees. Counterbalance yourself by getting your nose out over your knees. And the last, the force of your thighs goes through what part of your foot? We're putting the force of the drive of our leg through the heel of our foot. And are we ready? And when you're on your feet, stay on your feet and do a shallow squat. Are we ready? Set. Go. Up. One. And number two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, and ten. And Joe, you're welcome to go real low like that, but uh, I would not encourage it for the rest of us. That looks like some sort of Southeast Asia sitting position or something, man. That was awesome. Uh, we're on our feet now. We're going to do another one of those where we try to tighten all of our muscle groups. So, uh, come around behind the chairs. And we'll walk our feet together. You'll pinch as if you're trying to hold something between your knees. You'll pull your toes up, flex your thigh, now pinch your butt, tighten in your gut. And if you can show one arm tight, good. Can you show two arms tight? I don't think I can. And hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And relax and take a deep breath in. And let it go. And we'll pinch the knees together. Pull the toes up. Flex the thigh muscles. Flex the butt muscles. Tighten the gut. How about flexing the other arm? And hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Deep breath in. Let it go. Start pinching, pulling, flexing everything you got, and the other arm or both or whatever you can get. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We'll rise up on our toes. Rock onto our heels and keep it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We'll spread our legs. This is a single leg balance activity. When you're on that single leg, I'd like you to feel the balance point uh, and then move to your other leg. If I'm moving faster than you can move, I'll encourage you to just move at your pace. We'll jump from our right leg and balance on that left. Move off to of the left, balance on the right. And let's keep it up for one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's do a little shaking. Let's shake out that left leg and hip. Once you shook it enough, stand on it. Shake out the right. Finish shaking the right. Prepare the right leg for ten size leg lifts. Set. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, and ten. Standing on that right foot, swing the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Standing on your left foot, putting your right knee in the back of the chair, and we'll kick it behind us for one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Standing on that right foot. Left knee is placed into the backrest. And kick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're standing on our left foot. So much so that we can rotate our right leg clockwise direction and we'll call it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
Ten. Same right leg, just reverse your circle. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Now one, shifting weight onto the right, circle in the left, go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and reverse, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and uh, a lot of mine, uh, I think is it marching time? Is that where we're at? Did I get all of them, Jim? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's do three deep breaths and then we'll do our three minute march. Three breaths, deep in, let it go. Deep in, let it go. One more fresh. And let it go. It's three minutes of marching, broken into one minute segments. I'll count the ones if you guys count the tens to begin with. On your mark, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Hey, Bannister, you want this bike? You can have it. We'll always make room for you. Uh, three deep breaths. You walk and let it go. Deep breath in. Let it go. One more time. Let it go. All right. Set. Go. One, two, three, four. Count the ones, I'll count the tens. Mark. Set. Go. Wow. 
Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Let me, re, let me re, let push rewind. Uh, Jim, it's time for the hula. Okay. Let's get started with 12 clockwise hula starting now. One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock. 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, midnight. Two deep breaths. One, two. Okay, uh, 12 counterclockwise hoops. 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock, Six o'clock, five o'clock, four o'clock, three o'clock, two o'clock, one o'clock. Oh, 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 right. <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> now uh, we still got some leg stuff, right? Is that right? Yeah, we got to do the uh, lunge. Is that right? Lunge, yeah. We're at the lunge. So right foot's going to be out in front, left foot is behind, and then we'll shift our weight forward onto that front right foot. There's a lunge, but I want a little more out of you. So I'm going to ask you to tighten up your thigh muscle, tighten up your butt muscle, and lastly, suck in and tighten your gut. And then show me your muscles and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Deep breath in. The right leg will still be your lead leg. We'll shift our way forward out onto it. Begin flexing the thighs, the butt, the gut, and then. Give me a sideways lunge with your arms, one in front, one behind, and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Deep breath in. Let it go into the lunge. Begin flexing the thighs, the tail, and the tummy. And lead with your other arm and put the other one behind and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We'll come up, three deep breaths. Let it go. Deep breath in. Let it go. One more fresh. And left leg lead. Left leg lead, right leg trails. Lunge onto the front left foot, begin flexing thighs, tail, tummy, and we'll go arms overhead and hold everything tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Deep breath in. Let it go. Lunge, flex, and straight down and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine and ten. Deep breath in. Exhale. Lunge. Flex your thighs, bottoms, abs, and the eagle. And hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We'll move into some coordinated stuff. These will be your steps. Does everybody remember your coordinated stepping? It's your right leg. And the tough one is, well, the climbs do the tough one, where they walk the square pattern. Uh, the moderate one is where we do that forward, that forward, out, back, and together. And the easy one uh, is just pointing the toes. The tough one is stepping. So you decide which one's best for you. Are there any questions? Right leg. Going forward, out to the side, back behind, together, forward, side, back, two, forward, side, back, three, forward, side, back, Four and forward, side, back, makes five. That's your right leg. Your right leg's gonna go in reverse. So you'll take that right leg and put it and step it backwards to the side, up front, and together. You can come on through, we'll make room back, side, front, together, three, back. Side, front, four, and back. Side, front, makes five. Prepare yourselves for the right, or excuse me, the left leg. Bannister, can you squirrel through here? And this left leg turned. Left leg, stepping forward, to the side, back behind, together, forward, side, back, two, forward, side, back, three, forward, side, back, four, and forward. Side, back, makes five. Left leg in reverse. Stepping the left foot back to the side. Up front and together. Back, side, front, two. Back, side, front, three. Back. Side, front, four, and back. Side, front, makes, and let's see, is it left leg in reverse or did we just do that? We just did that. We just did that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> jig time it is. And uh, so you got a couple of jigs. We, uh, does everybody know the easy one versus the hard one? Does anybody need to see the easy versus the hard? Yeah. Okay, so the, the easy one, you start with your toe back, and you'll just go heel, toe, heel, toe. That's the easy one. The hard one, same starting position, toe back, but you'll go heel, you'll lift the leg up and put the toe down in front of your shin, you'll lift the leg up and put your heel back out where it was, and then you'll lift your leg and stick it behind. That's the hard one. You'll decide which one's best for you. Left or uh, right leg in the set position. Let's go. Heel. Toe. Heel. One. Heel. Toe. Heel. Two. Heel. Toe. Heel. Three. Heel. Toe. Heel. Four, heel, toe, heel, make, 
Left leg set. Go. Heel. Toe. Heel. One. Toe. Heel. Two. Heel. Toe. Heel. Three. Heel. Toe. Heel. Four. Heel. Toe. Heel. Makes. Got it is. Now, three deep breaths. Let it go. Deep breath in. Let it go. One more fresh. Let it go. We're going to do arm circles. It all starts with the foundation. So I got my feet wide. I feel safe and secure and steady. And then I'll spread my arms. I'll turn my hands up to the ceiling. Well, that orients us that we're going to spin these arms in a backward circle. Little backward circle for one, two, three, four, five, and then a medium backward circle. One, two, sorry, three, four, five, and then a great big backward circle. One, two, three, four, and five. Then we'll come back and we'll orient our thumb to the ceiling. And we'll spin forward, little, little circle forward. One, two, three, four, five. And medium. One, two, three, four, five. And then large forward. One, two, three, four, and five. We'll take our right arm. Keep that same safe base that we've created. We'll take that right arm and we'll run it up over our head. And lean ourselves to the left. And hold. One, two, three, four, five. We'll switch it. Left lean and right. And hold. One, two, three, four, five. And switch. One, two, three, four, five. And switch. One, two, three, four, five. And switch. One, two, three, four, five, and the last one. One, two, three, four, five. Two deep breaths. Deep breath in. Let it go. Fresh in. Use the air out. This last one. Uh, you uh, always got your chair if you lose your balance. And this one's kind of a wacky one. You've got a good base at your feet. Find your right hand. Reach behind you. Grab that left wrist. Uh, slide your wrist and hand down onto your bottom. Arch your back and lift the chin to the ceiling. And hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And release with a deep breath in. As you let the breath out, take your left hand and reach behind you and grab your right wrist. Do the same. Slide your hand and wrist down onto your bottom. Arch your back. Lift the chin and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Uh, we'll transition back to our chair. We'll do some weight lifting. Uh, I'll take some orders. Eddie, how much you want? One pound, two pounds, three pounds more. One pound, five pounds for you. I uh, yeah, three pounder, please. Five for you. One's for you. Yeah. Thank you. We'll be doing bicep curls to begin with. And drop your arms long as you can orient your palms to the circle. 
And shorten it up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll do that again, but we're going to change our hand position. The thumb should be pointed to the center switch, uh, circle center. And shorten it up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to go up and over our head. So we're at shoulder height. And we're pressing up for one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The right one stays up. Left one in the lap. Take that right one and put it behind your head and throw it up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Right one gets a rest. Left one is up. Set. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three deep breaths. Deep breath in. Let it go. Deep breath in. Let it go. One more deep. And let it go. We're throwing punches. Real high ones. Chin high. Set. Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Find the flat spot. Oh, wait, no. We got chest height. Chest height. Set. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now find the flat spot, put them together, a little push in front, a little squeeze in back. Pushing, squeezing, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Elbows to your side, palms to the right, touching on the under grip, touching on the top. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, running in place. Set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Find that weight in your right hand. Reach that right hand towards your left foot and pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where's that left hand? Left hand sticking out your right foot, reaching the left hand for the right foot, and pull one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Find that right hand and wait. Should be right at your right ear. We'll punch it up and over our head, pull it down by the ankle, and repeat that motion. Two, 
left hand is your left ear, up and over, down and around, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Find that weight in your right hand. Take that right hand and weight and stick it on your left knee. It's not only a motion for your arm and the weight, but your head and your eyes and your brain as well. You're going to follow this weight with your hand. As it moves to the right, you're going to watch it with your eyes and your head. And you're going to come back to it on this knee. And then after five, when we get to number six, the arm and the weight are going to move right, but your head's going to look to the left. But they're going to come back to this knee. This is home base for the head, eyes, weight, and hand. Any questions? As the weight moves to the right, follow it with your head and eyes. Set, go. One, two, three, four, and five. Great job. Now, that hand and weight are going to move right, and your head's going to look left, and it's going to meet back up with this leg. Set, go, look away. Six, seven, keep the head moving. Eight, that's right. Nine, and ten. Very good job. Very good. Now, left hand and right, <clears throat> left hand and weight on the right knee. And we're going to follow that weight in hand as it moves left with our eyes and head. Go. One. Two. Keep the head moving. Three. Four. Five. Now look away from it. Six. Look the opposite direction. Seven. But come back to it. Eight. Nine. And ten. Very good. Very good. Laying our forearms on our, on our thighs, palms up, letting the wrist extend to the floor and flex back up to the light for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Roll the forearms over, letting the wrist extend to the floor, the flex to the floor and extend to the light. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going to lose a weight. The one weight you have, grab it with your right hand, cup it with your left, stick out your left foot, and we're going to mock chop wood. Set, go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Grab that weight with the left hand. Pick out your right foot. Set, set, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the last one, which is your strong hand. Grab the weight with the strong hand. Overlap it with the other. Lock it on. High overhead. Like on the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lose your weight, some of the chair, the weight area will be around shortly at some point. 
Right now, I'd like you to close your eyes. Take three deep breaths to yourself and notice the positive energy that we have created. We'll move into a hand exercise, the chest claw. I bet you can throw that thing on the floor and the weight there will grab it. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. And cat claws. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Um, thank you. You're welcome. Sam, uh -huh. light fist, the lightest fist you can make. One, two, three, four, five. And if those are your lightest ones, five of your tightest ones. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then Wide fingers, tight fingers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and thumb. A very social finger. They want to touch all fingertips. And take our thumb to pinky or wherever you can get it. And start touching fingertips real slow. One, two, three, four, five. 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 And one, two, three, four, five. And prepare position. Give them plenty of room so you can put them under your chin. Throw them from under the chin and watch them go down. And up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. With them still, prayer. Lower it at your navel. Push the right one into the left. Push the left one into the right. Repeat that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back of the hands together. One through the line, turn the tips down and try and hold back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Left in the forearms on the side, fingers to run forward, turning the tips out, turning the tips in, and repeat. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And lastly, flipping and flipping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I just got the sack of squeezy things. Is that good? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You got a brain. I like your brain. Yours looks like it's got a function. Mine's all gray. It won't out. It looks just like an MRI show with the activities and stuff. Yeah. Put that in your right hand. Squeeze it down. Don't let it go. Hard squeeze, man. Hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten, left hand squeeze and hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. Pump squeeze on the right. Set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
and the left hand go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And to the right for tension. Two fingers in the thumb, pinch them in and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The left hand pinch and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Back to the right. Roll the whole thing over. Pump pinches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same on the left. Set. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, Michael, grab the sponges. I'll hand out the pipe. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You have to stand. You don't have to do this. Okay, you just do that in front of you and Nancy's in position. Uh, Alan's in position. Jim's in position. Betty, what's the scene? You're going to, I would say, pretend and not leave the pole. Do the same motion to do the pole. So, this one is where we shrug our shoulders so the to the steel is free off like you don't know the answer. I don't know. Ten of those. Two. Ten rent. Ten. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. We're going to do the same motion again, but bend your elbows this time. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and push the pipe back. Tap the chair ten times. Set, stop. Bring that pipe around. Hug it to your chest, push it away, rise up overhead and behind the head and hold. One, two, three, four, five, up, down, in, out, up, and behind. One, two, three, four, five, up, down, in, out, up, and behind. One, two, three, four, five, up, down, in, out, up, and behind. One, two, three, four, and five. High exercise. Cross eye blink. You can use your finger if you like. Or would you like one of these? Well, we're going to take it and use it for a focal point. All right, take it, take it and run it right at your nose, cross them, blink, and follow it out. Number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Pipe on the right, so you're on the left. Glance it at the pipe and then dart your fingers over and glance at the finger. And then I'm moving your head, this eyeball. Set, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then pipe on the left, finger on the right, to the pipe, and then your finger without moving your head. And the eyes go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five. 
I'm going to turn the floor over to my friend Nancy. I'm going to take you through an activity that goes through a paddling motion. But this thing has much more than a paddle. It has memory. It has imagination. And Nancy's going to tell us where we're going somewhere in the world. I'd like you to know geographically where we're at. I'd like you to remember where we put our boats in, where we took our boats out, what the name of the river is, and anything that might be of interest to us on this trip. Five things that I can come up with. Take it away, Tom. Excellent job. Where were we in the world? Where was where our adventure? Uh, northeast, north, north, east, central Missouri. North central Missouri, very close. What river were we on? Merrimack River. Merrimack. Uh, where did we put in? And okay, now, you've got a great memory. I'm going to see if we can get one of these guys. All right, you're on autopilot. All right, and where do we take out? You want to help them? Not that. Okay, you pulled that one out of your shoe. Uh, we took out at Campbell's Bridge. And what were we exploring on our float trip today? Anybody except for this guy? <laughs> caves. Caves. We got lots of caves in Missouri. Good job. All right. We're moving on to propeller like motion. Um, okay. Did you say North Central Missouri to the Mountain It starts in Cooksville, which is it's sort of like, think of uh, it is kind of North Central Missouri. Oh, here's the the state. I thought the Merrimack River is probably south of the. Um, Missouri River. Well, I wish I could debate that, but right now I've, I've got to take this to a okay. propeller like Okay, motion. sure. And uh, one hand under grip, one hand over grip, and you'll make a motion A, B, I, O, U. Real slow to real fast. On your mark, set, go. A, B, I, O, U. 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 Okay. Right. Well, reverse your grip. Uh, grip's now at the top, top is now at the bottom. And we'll go really fast and really slow. And we'll say each valve five times, starting with A. Really fast and really slow, sir. Go. A, B, I, O, U. 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 A, B, I, O, U.
Expression muscles. Uh, giving the first one being a frown. Just frown you got. And smile it up. Frown it down. Smile it up. One more frown. One more smile. Puff your cheeks. Puff it up. Suck it out. Puff it up. Suck it out. One more puff. One more suck. And we're down to our last activity. Most of it's sudden intention for the class, Betty. You were a little late. You didn't sudden intention, but maybe you got something from the class. What we do here is we do three deep breathing exercises. And we sort of reflect on did we achieve what we hope to achieve from the class? The first two breathings are where we pull the breath into the nose and let them out the mouth silently. And on the last one, we make some noise. Jim, what's that noise? Ah. So on the last one, we make some noise. So take a deep breath in. Let it out slowly. Deep breath in. Let it out slowly. One more deep breath. Ah. I want to thank you all for joining me today in the class. The fact that you keep coming is the greatest compliment you can get. So please continue to do so. Enjoy your weekend, and I hope to see you back here next Friday. Thanks for coming. Well, yeah, for the, uh, for the most part, the